Hi, this is third part of the video in which I am going to calculate the interaction term AB. So first of all, in order to calculate the interaction term, we will have to must draw this whole table. So after that, calculate the contrast of AB. To calculate the contrast, we will make this column by multiplying the signs of A and B. We got plus these two plus with 1 and AB. So these two term 1 and AB will be as positive. Whereas in this column, we have negative signs with A and B. So we have given A and B the negative signs. After this, we divide this AB plus 1 by 2 and also A and B by 2. Because they are two terms to take the average, then N is the number of replications. After doing so, so far we have done with the calculation of contrast and the main effect of A, A, B and B. After this, we will have to take the scale of the contrast. For example, we have calculated this contrast AB plus 1 minus A minus B. Take the scale of this contrast after taking the scale divided by 4 and then multiply by N. So we will get sum of scale of AB. Likewise, you will have to take the scale of each and every contrast and then dividing the contrast by 4 multiply by n it will give you sum of scale so in this way we can calculate the sum of scale for the 2k factorial design after calculating the sum of scale one thing more i'm going to tell you that graphically you will have to first calculate these two terms and give them positive sign you can see a b and 1 there as plus whereas they give the negative sign with a b a and B. You can see both of the signs are with the negative. Okay, so these are the three formulas for the calculation of sum of scale of A, sum of scale of B and sum of scale of AB. After doing this, we have to calculate sum of scale of total. So take the scale of each and every value observation y i j k whole scale minus 4 dot 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 scale. It means take the sum of y triple dot means take the sum of all of the values and then their scale. 4 multiplied by n number of replications. To calculate the sum of scale of the error as previously, we have to subtract sum of scale of A, sum of scale of B, and sum of scale of AB from sum of scale total. We can also formulate our regression model based upon the results of a factorial design. Y is our response variable, beta naught is the intercept or you can say constant sometime. Beta 1 is the in is a slope of this first variable or first parameter beta 2 is the slope of the second parameter second factor you can say x2 means the parameter or the factor and epsilon is the error term we always prefer to use least scare method in the regression analysis because this method minimizes the errors of standard deviation those models that have a significant interaction term, then we will have to add x1, x2, this is our interaction term, and beta1 to 2 is the slope of the interaction. Further, if these slopes beta1, beta2, or beta1, 2, if these have a positive sign, it means they have a positive effect on the response variable. And if there is a minus sign in place of this plus here, it means that those factors or parameters have a negative effect on the response variable y. In the next video, I will discuss this example in detail and we will solve it. Thanks for watching it.